This video is brought to you by my lovely patrons over on Patreon. I would like to give a huge shout out to Anina, Clay, Mariah, Maddie, Idali, Stray, Thomas, Tara, Zoe, Zuzia, Ainsley, Sabine, Jimma, Bailey, Azzy, Jacqueline, Monica, Jordan, Green, Lizzie, Willow, Danny, Blessing, Avery, Maddie, Alexia, B, Max, T, Taylor, M, Lovely, Antonina, Anna, Valen, Ali, Obsessed, Brianna, Nicole, Carnations, Kristen, Tequila, Autumn, Emily, Sarah, Vanessa, Nina, Nura, Macha, Ava, Yasmin, Leah, Kayla, Ali, Ginny, Vika, Inez, June, Elizabeth, Penguin, Sammy, Roland, Rose, Lydia, Mila, Adrian, Lexi, Baina, Chi, Madison, Beck, Jemaya, Mads, Rachel, Daisy, Honeybee, Jade, Hooves, Rose, Alice, Cadence, Sponge, AJ, Kate, Jay, Praxid, Nicole, Terry, Hallow, Rebecca, Allison, Jacqueline, Jacaria, Mina, Lilith, Anch, Jasmine, Lizard, Kiki, Illyria, Lady Demista and Zebra. If you would like to support the channel and get some pretty cool perks such as weekly exclusive audios and novel readings, the link is in the description. So, how was it? Come on, the plate is clean. There is nothing on it. I have not given you any insight into what I am looking for as for commentary, but I let you know that I wanted an opinion on the dish. You ate at a normal pace, you did everything that I asked of you, and now the question is, how is it? Is it good? What do you think of it? And you are not lying to me, right? This is completely authentic. There is no ulterior motives behind this. I can fully 100% trust you with this opinion. I am so excited. Oh, yes. Yes, I have been working on this for so long, literally months literally months it took me so long to like properly curate the the seasonings that would be appropriate for the dish and then appropriate temperature to i literally i i have like lived and breathed this dish for the past month and the fact that it turned out perfectly because this is my Keep in mind, I've, I've gone through so many variations of this dish, and I've tasted all of these vi different variations, and this is the one that I came out with that I thought was the perfect dish. So the fact that you agree with me on that makes me so happy. Exactly. What? It's got to be the best friendship, right? Because what other friendship are you getting gourmet meals, hand... Well, well, I think they're gourmet, I, you know, and people seem to think so as well. So we're going to say that. Thank you very much. No teasing. You, you already told me how much you enjoyed it. You can't take that back and go back to teasing mode. We're in celebration mode currently. Thank you very much. And that is all thanks to you. So if you want me to have a smaller head, you should just lie to me and tell me that you don't think that the dishes are good. I, I'm joking, of course. Please do not do that because I, I I need to know if you think that they're good because then I'll end up switching it around and I'll probably end up thinking bad is good and good is bad. And, and sure, all food is technically subjective. It's like all art is subjective. Everyone has a different palate for stuff. But Like, for example, you hate pickles. Could not understand a world in which someone could hate the best vegetable possible, but here we are. Exactly, and I still appreciate you and cherish you of anyways. So, there we go. I am seriously so glad that you liked it, though. Um, although, I must say... Yeah, no, you're right. The serious face is on, and I'm about to deliver a piece of serious information to you um although this was the main okay not main although this was a reason to ask you over to try this dish 
uh, and have you come and share a dinner with me. That was not the main reason that I asked you to come and share a dinner with me. I may or may not have had ulterior mode, ulterior, ulterior, that's the word, right? Ulterior motives behind this gesture. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> If you want to leave right now and get out of here, you can, but I promise you, it is simply one question. Ah. Yeah, you know me too well. Okay, it's one question, and but that question has a lot of lead up to said question. So you are right about that, but I promise it is just one question. Well, you could leave now, but I will say I would be absolutely heartbroken if you did that. And I'm only half kidding. Yup, it is absolutely one million percent that serious. So take a seat and let's let's have a chat, shall we? If you don't mind, of course. So before we get started, I am going to <laughs> warn you that you are about to take in a lot of information. And you know that I'm a chatterbox usually, so this is going to be, I am even saying, hey, this is going to be a lot right now. So I want to give you a second to prepare your mind to enter that state of processing information. It's going to be a lot. And I'm not gonna say we're gonna go super fast, but we're gonna go at a pretty solid rate, okay? Or pace, is what I meant. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you are, you're such a dork, but I'm glad that you are, you know, taking this in stride. So, as you know, I am the head chef at a restaurant here. This is true. This is a correct statement, yes. Okay, we're both on the same page about that. So, as a head chef uh, at a restaurant here that, you know, has a Michelin star, that is pretty great. There are perks that come with it. There are disadvantages that come with it. Excuse me, sorry. <laughs> God. See, that's, that's how good it, the, the, the meal was. Uh, is, you know, the burp interrupting the train of uh, speak thought. Anyways, no, okay, yeah, I'm just distracting away. I, I, I took the opportunity. Anyways, notoriety is one of those things. It can be an advantage, it can be a disadvantage. Uh, because disadvantage, notoriety, you're likely to receive more criticism the more popular you are. Uh, advantage, you get certain perks with it. We know this. Literally, we get into whatever restaurant we want, wherever we want to go because of that. But also, I don't like having to deal with articles online that are bad. But a part of that notoriety is that once you do a good enough job at your job for a certain amount of time, people start to notice that. And I don't know what happened, but recently people really started to notice. I guess maybe it's the fact that we've been trying more fusion dishes and we've been adding super creative stuff to the menu and we've been enhanced. So, okay, maybe it does make complete sense why, but we've been enhancing our environment and trying to make it more of an experience as opposed to just sitting down and eating food. And that all makes sense. What doesn't make sense is the fact that um, two days ago, literally maybe a, a little bit more than 48 hours, uh, I got called uh, by my owner and he said, come into the office, uh, I need to have a chat with you. And I said, okay, sure. And whenever an office call happens, usually it's we need to either fire someone, there's going to be radical change in the company, something not great is going down. So I am going in with a very uh, a mindset of, okay, let's just get through this and let's move on because nothing we, we are doing so well 
that this can't possibly take away from the strides that we're making in the restaurant. So I go in expecting a very not great meeting to happen, and instead, lo and behold, um, there's just him and a guy, and they're both sitting there, and I'm I I'm 99% sure that I'm getting fired, and this is the person I'm going to be replaced with. Again, profits are up, um, everything is going well. I am fearing for my position. So I sit down. Uh, they both have warm faces, though, which is confusing. And my boss says to me, Hi, this is Tyler. Tyler runs. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's really hard to say it because I can't believe I'm saying it. Uh, you are the second person I said it out loud to. The first person being my dad, of course. Uh, oh, um, so he he says to me, "This is Tyler. Tyler has a restaurant that is very, very, very big in France." I say, "Okay, that's awesome." In my head, I'm like, what is Tyler doing here? Is Tyler coming to our restaurant? Is he like leaving France to come to America to take over my position? Because if that's the case, oh my gosh, I'm losing to a Frenchman? What are we talking about? And so my boss says to me, Tyler is looking to expand. He is looking to create another restaurant of the same, you know, with the same dishes, the same everything, but make it more catered to, as we have been doing here, experiential-based food stuff with like constant live music curating, perfect playlists for the courses that are going to be served. It's going to be like only open four hours and it's going to be like two two-hour blocks and it's going to be like a certain amount of course meals. And it is apparently so big that once they open up, they guarantee that they will have full booking for like ever. So essentially like a specialty entertainment restaurant combination thing. And I say, wow, that's so awesome because that sounds awesome, right? That's basically what we've been trying to do or what I would imagine, like combining art and food, my two main passions of life. That sounds freaking fantastic. Why is he here? And then the, the Tyler says to me, I have seen your work that you have done here. And I said, wow, that's crazy that my work has gotten around, and calling it work is crazy, right? Uh, has gotten around to Europe. Uh, and he says, I want you. And I said, what does that mean? And he's like, I want you to head the project. And I was like, oh, so you, wow. So you mean, that's amazing. So you want me over there as like a chef? And they're like, no, I want you over there as the creative director and also the person who helps curate the dishes. I'm like, so that, that kind of sounds like almost like manager, owner, like, and he's like, yeah, basically not I'll own it, but you'll be the head in the chain of command. I got offered a job in France, in Paris specifically. And there's just no world in which I don't take it, right? Thank, thank you. Uh, I, I know, I, I know. I'm, I like, I know you haven't said anything other than congratulations, but I am as stunned as you. Uh, and if you think that this is stunning, let's get ready for the the second part of this because this is why this took two days to tell you this. Um, <clears throat> if I am to take this job, 
Uh, I will be salaried and I will be making a lot of money. And what do I mean by a lot of money? I mean a lot of money. Uh, a lot of money as in above six figures. A lot of money as in not well above six figures, but no, 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 no. Like not like in the six figure range solidly, solidly in the six figure range. So, so where I'm at right now is um i want to i'm going to do it right Th this is the opportunity of a lifetime and i have the opportunity to create generational wealth while doing the things that i love and sure it's going to be in in a, a huge commitment but it's also going to simultaneously be the adventure of a lifetime uh everything about it seems perfect i'm in the perfect place in my life to do it um and so I was thinking that all through my through my head, right? That was all going through my head, and I was thinking about it. And then I, 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 I got stuck on something, and I couldn't figure out what I got stuck on. And I realized that what I got stuck on was you. I got stuck on you because I, uh. It's crazy that this is more difficult to tell you than what I just said. I, I, I think you know this, or at least I, I know that you've picked up on hints of it. I'm, I'm not sure you understand the severity of it, but I am like, I love you. And not, I know I tell you how much I love you as a friend. It's not that. I love you, love you. You know how in, 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 you know, high school or middle school or whatever, they'd be like, oh, I like him. It's like, you like him, like him? I love you, love you. Absolutely. And I don't know if... And, and I, I want you to come with me to France. Like, yeah, that's that's where this is going. I will be making enough money and I have enough of an advance that I will be able to literally financially provide for us completely uh, and get us a, a solid place to live. And I will have a work visa and you will be able to do whatever you want. We will literally have expendable income together. Everything makes sense. You can just take your time learning French. I know that the, the, the language thing is going to be crazy, but I, I can't, the, the thing that I got stuck on is I could not imagine it's going through a work week, right? And not seeing you once sure we could facetime over the phone but not seeing you once would be a nightmare you are so integral to who i am as a person in my life and i've i know that i felt this way for a while and i think you know that i feel this way but i have to ask and i'm gonna i'm gonna go regardless but i think this could be the best thing that ever happened to us and i mean it's the perfect time you know yeah you get your between jobs you don't need to be between jobs you learn french you've always wanted to be you literally have told me told me multiple times that your dream is to be like a, either a bookseller or a, a barista or a bakery worker in europe in like the France, Italy, Spain, we could do that. You could do that with me. We could do that. And I would even like, if you want to just come and do it with me as just friends, I'm also open to that. But I, I needed to let you know how I felt. I'm, I'm also aware, though, that this is a major change, and, you know, I don't even know if you, you like me, and even if you did like me, moving to France and upending 
your entire life. That would be kind of crazy, right? That would be, so I, I don't, hi, your face is really close to mine right now and I don't want to misinterpret signals. So is this like, can I kiss you right now, please? Okay. Okay. Thank you. Oh, wow. Okay. I have a question. Did I completely overwork myself? Did I like work myself up uh, to a place where I was absolutely terrified about asking you this, but you have also been dropping hints for me very consistently over the past like year and a half and I just didn't see them? Yeah, yeah, well, no, I know I'm oblivious and I was like kind of picking up on it and I didn't know if you'd be super interested in completely upending your life, but also I know that you're in love with adventures and I know that you thought... Okay, okay, I will, I will shut up for right now, um, I just, but I, I need, like, a verbal confirmation, um, for right now, and you can change your mind at any time, it is okay, even if you, again, if the, like, is it a yes? We're going to France. That's a crazy thing. Like, did you, did you, did, did you imagine coming in here trying to just taste test something? Could you, did you imagine that those like went back in elementary school when, when I, when I would invite you over and we would, and we would cook, cook bake cookies together all day and we would do our, do our best and they would end up like super Okay, and but and then eventually we got to the point where we were making the best cookies and we would bring in our own shit for the bake sales. And now we're here. <laughs> really? You th you think ever since you were 7 you knew? I'd be lying if I said I I didn't know from a very young age, but I don't know, you're, when you're growing up, you're just kind of, even in your 20s, you're developing all of these new thoughts and thought processes and personality traits. You don't even really know who you are. So I am in a way glad that we waited this long to the point where we know exactly who we are uh, and that we love each other because I love you too very much. All right, and I, I, I do have one more secret. I made chocolate cake. I know I couldn't just I couldn't just make the main dish. I had to make the chocolate cake, it's especially if you did not like the main dish. Then the chocolate cake I know is the go-to banger. It is a palate cleanser. We can talk about all of the logistics after this, but not after a slice of celebratory chocolate cake.